Hi, I'm Radwa Khalil and I am interdisciplinary neuroscientist and researcher at Chemistry Rector University. So in one sentence, what did you study in this research? So in this research, we actually wanted to see the influence of the emotion induction um, on the creative um, ideation. Basically, we wanted to see how the basic emotion influence your, the brain, your brain dynamic when you generate original ideas. How did you test creativity in the lab? We um, allowed the student to watch videos and uh, each videos were um, having a different basic emotion. After each video, the students were given the task, which is alternative um, use task. Um, after that, we recorded their answer and we measure how they, um, they generate their original ideas. Brain data show that um, for each emotion induction that there is a very distinctive profile, which means that our brain is need somehow to be um, simulate, stimulated by the um, emotion. So there was something very interesting in our study, but actually it was a kind of exploratory because we didn't um, think about the gender. Uh, but when we did the analysis, we find a very interesting pattern uh, between the male versus female. A very distinctive a neural profile uh, for male that is different from a female. Is there a common misconception about emotions and creativity you'd like to correct based on your findings? So I think the most important part is to not to underestimate the the emotion, the effect of the emotion on the creative thinking. Use the best of the context that you have. Even if you are in sad emotion, this doesn't mean that you wouldn't be productive, but you need actually to focus your attention on, um, on something different and to keep the persistence because this is actually the whole message.